So guys, you've all seen the watch market go crazy. You wanna see where you can get APs, Pateks, 50% less than you could a couple of months ago? Stay tuned. So today's a very, very special day. My dear friends, Vadim and Eddie from Risk Aficionado in New York and also Miami now, right? Correct, yeah, correct. Have flown into LA, brought some amazing pieces and some bargain pieces too, from what I understand, absolutely, right? Absolutely, To show you guys, and we're gonna talk about the watch market, we're gonna show you some watches that have literally, can I use the word collapsed? Corrected. Corrected, corrected. corrected. That's uh, right. Shouldn't use the word collapsed. Yeah. So guys, Great to see you. To Thank see you, you so much for coming down. Tell us what's going on. Uh, we uh, we had a little uh, little bit of a needed correction, I think. I think it was uh, well needed. It was overdue. I think the watch market uh, went up a bit faster than it should have, and things are coming back to reality right now, which is where everybody needs it to be. Yeah, I agree. I think, with I think you. it's healthy. I think it's healthy. We actually did a video. I guess it was a couple of months ago. We talked about the watch market, and, and I said it had collapsed. And uh, at that point, it was nowhere near the correction it is now. So it's a whole different marketplace. So let's let's talk about it. What's going on with what brands? I mean, I, I think it's across the board. Um, I think we've seen it a lot in Paddock. I, uh, Rolex has come down quite a bit. AP has come down quite a bit. Let's look at some of these watches and give us some examples of what's actually happened to them. Uh, let's see where we were and where we are. Yeah. Um, let's talk about, let's take a 5711. All right, so 50, beautiful watch. Beautiful piece. 5711. Uh, I see. Yep, sure. Six months ago was probably hovering around the 300,000 mark. Today, uh, sub 200. Really? Sub 200, yeah. It, it's, taken a, it's taken a bit of a correction, but it, it was, it was, it's the reality of uh, what's going on in the financial sector, I think, also, right? Stocks corrected, crypto came down 80%. Collapsed, collapsed. that collapsed. Collapsed, right. collapsed. Uh, do you see that going back up again? I do, I do, I'm a believer. Yeah, I do. I don't. No? No. No, I'm a believer. No, I hope you're right, I hope you're right. I, I hope so, so too. I, hope I said so I'd too. never buy some, but I did. Uh, but, you know, it was neat. Beautiful piece, right, Adam? I love it, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I bought the 5712 from you, remember? You did, yeah. Which I yeah. absolutely love, yeah. and uh, fortunately, I bought it before they went nuts. Correct, correct, so, you bought it at a good time. Yeah, I bought so it at a good time. So probably back to the prices where you bought it at. Yeah, so I'm in yeah, good you're shape. fine, you're I'm fine. In, I'm in good yeah. shape. So this one was over 300,000. Yeah, uh, it touched, uh, touched that 320 mark already at some point. Really? Yeah, it did. And now 200. Yeah, in the 200s you can get them now. I feel sorry for the guy that bought it at 320, right? Who knew, who knew? Yeah, good yeah, point, who knew? good point. So what's next? Uh, same thing, we have the 5711 white. Um, steel, right? Yeah, steel discontinued. This uh, also hit 200s? Uh, yeah, a little below 200. It was like 180, 190. That's incredible, because this watch is what, $40,000 less? On retail, yeah, of course. Isn't that something? Yeah. So how much is it now? Uh, just a touch over 100, maybe about 20. So 50% down? Yeah, just about, just about 30% 30, 30 correction, 40% correction. And these watches are brand new or used? These are pre-owned. Pre-owned. Pre pre so a new one would be? Yeah, slightly over. Slightly over, but not much? Not by much. Not wow. by much. It's a discontinued piece, so there's not going to be much of a delta. Crazy. Plus, what else have you got in the box? You've got so many nice watches. I mean, the blue one, same, 5711 blue. So blue is worth more than white, is it not? Yes, more desirable. it was always more desirable. And how much more? 20K more. Really? Yeah. For the color of the dial? Yeah. But when you buy it, less they're the same? Same, same. Isn't that amazing? Same. What do you prefer, blue or white? Blue, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, I do like that white, but... Expensive taste. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So I hear that APs have really taken a bit of a beating in certain areas. APs have also, yeah. Royal Oaks came down quite a bit, but they were super high. Right. Same thing. Uh, these, uh, these 50th anniversaries, these new ones, uh, when they first came out. How much was this one? This was about 250 when it first came out. 250? 250 it was selling for when it first came out. What's the list on that watch? Probably. Most I think is around 50 maybe. Around 50K probably. So it was $200,000 over, over on a $50,000 yeah. watch. Yeah, so this was 5X. It didn't make sense. And there was no rhyme or reason for it. And today? Today, probably. It's still, it's still expensive. Um, it's probably about 130 to 150. See, I just don't understand that. I really don't understand that. Do you think it's going to stay at that? Or is it going to go down? Is it I, I, go think, back up? I think we're getting to a sweet spot where things are starting to stabilize a little bit. 
Um, but it's hard to tell. Who knows? You know, three months ago, we thought it was going to stabilize also. So what's causing this? What, what is actually causing it, in your opinion? Uh, I think it's a lot of factors. I think interest rates are high. I think people are borrowing money um, at rates where, you know, six months ago, they could borrow money cheap and they can put it into watches. I think uh, we had a... And there were great investments at that point. Amazing, right. amazing, amazing. I think we got to a point where the watch market was so high that, you know, a ton of flippers came into the market. Right. And they started buying up at retail and selling them for quick profits. And that drove up the supply and demand curve. I think that uh, on a macro scale, I think, you know, we have a war going on. There's uncertainty in the market. Yeah. You know, I think housing is going to correct in a bit. Uh, and which, just so you which, guys know, uh, we're right at the beginning of August now. So, right. you know, uh, if, if you're watching this three months down the line, these prices may be way out. Who knows? Very possible. Yeah. Very possible. Could be way up, could be way down. Very possible. We just, but we it's, just a, it's across the board, though, I think. I think Rolex has corrected quite a bit. Platinum, Big time, right? Platinum Daytonas, you know, they were hovering at what, two and a quarter at one point. Yeah. yeah. At 225. Today, you can get one probably just over 100. That's you know, unbelievable. Get 50% off. That's unbelievable. And that's not that much of an MSRP, right? They're getting like, close. Yeah, getting close. And now we're getting close. Something like yeah, that. we're getting close. Rose already. gold, olive uh, dial, day date. Used to be at a good market, like 90,000. 95, uh, 95. Yeah. Now it's like 55, 60,000. Incredible. And I saw white gold uh, with the olive dial has gone down even more. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah course, that, I, I actually saw one, I, I believe it was under MSRP, and I don't know how that's possible, but. Yeah, I mean, Rolex is getting pretty close to retail. It's getting back pretty close to retail. But the problem is that the retailers still aren't giving out the pieces. But they have them, right? They have them, but they're not giving them out. So there's not, there's so the demand. question. So the question there is, how do these people stay in business? They've got the inventory, but they're not selling them. And they're making it so difficult for people to buy them. It's actually, I think, turning people off certain watches. Of course. But listen, I think they, they stayed in business for a long time because people had to buy, you know, in order to get a Daytona, you had to buy six other pieces in order to get a Daytona. Right. So, I mean, th their profits went up and they were how selling much is it, How much is a Panda today? Probably 35 to 40. Yeah. yeah. White, white dial. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that, that was up at nearly 50,000 not so long ago, right? North yeah. of. North, north of 50. Really? Yeah, yeah north of really. 50. Yeah. So yeah, gosh, major yeah. correction. And then of course there's other watches that uh, have been totally stable, right? Stay more stable, more stable. I mean, there's certain brands that have uh, not take, they didn't go up as high, right? Uh, so they stayed stable. Vacherones did well. Long and Son did pretty well. Uh, MBNF still doing pretty well. So have all Rolexes gone down in value? Uh, I don't think all have. I think that the mainstream ones have. Um, the subs. The Datejust, Daytonas, mainstream pieces have. I think the high-end ones, um, Ruby, Baguette pieces, those have still maintained um, fairly decent value because there's a finite number of those on the market. Let's see what you think of this. Do you know um, what that is? Beautiful, beautiful is the end of the piece, beautiful. Um, see, pieces like this, you're not gonna find many of them on the market. So they can't fluctuate in value too much. You know, there's a finite, um, you know, maybe three or four of them that you'll find on the market at any given time. So if it's, you know, 100, 150,000, whatever the price may be, you know, it's gonna stay around that fixed number for a long period of time. I don't think it's gonna to fluctuate too much. Uh, but when Rolex is pumping out a million watches a year, there's really no rhyme or reason. They make a million watches a year? 800,000 to a million, right? Yeah, I think wow. around a million, yeah. million watches. Wow, that's yeah, great. Whatever that number may be, but when they're pumping out that many watches, there's no reason for a, a day just to be selling that much over retail or- So let me ask you a question. I've known you guys for many years. I've bought lots and lots of watches from you. I trust you implicitly. Asking you for me, should I continue buying watches or should I wait till the market further stabilizes? Do you think it's going to go down? Will it go back up? Help me here. I think on the pieces that you buy, you know, you buy pretty unique pieces. So uh, I don't wild think pieces. Some might you say you do a lot of them right. are wild sometimes, but the pieces that you're buying, I think, will stay stable. I, I don't think they're going to drop too much. I think the the regular mainstream pieces will take a little bit of a hit, which was necessary. You know, this it was a healthy correction for everybody. You know, I think the buyers needed it because they're buying too expensive and the dealers needed it because the prices were just too inflated. So basically anybody buying a watch today is pretty safe. I think so. I think we've gotten to that stable point where, you know, we've knocked out probably 20, 30, 40% off the price. And I think it's fair market value right now. I think a lot of pieces are fair market. Well, this has been very educational and I think we should continue with another video and we'll talk about those watches that haven't been touched, that are totally stable. Perfect. And uh, guys, thank Amazing. you, thank you.
Do I need to throw anything in here? Do I need to talk about the producer Michael Boutique? I mean, it'd be nice, because I'm sure you could pick up some of these I'm pieces on there, couldn't you? I think you can. Um, you might find these pieces on <laughs> the producer Michael Boutique. So go looking under watches highest to lowest. That's the way to probably <laughs> do it. <laughs> and uh, you, you might find some of these there. So yeah, go shopping, go shopping. And don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. What else? I think we're in it to win it. And that's we're in it. it to win it. Hit the like button, hit the bell button. I think I might have said that and go shopping. Bye. <laughs> and share it with 400,000 of your friends. 200,000 will be fine. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.